this crowd. Oh my God. Kalamazoo in West Michigan is in the house. Oh my God, it is so great to see you. And I know I'm real excited to see the vice president here and Mrs. Obama in just a few minutes. It's going to be great. You know, we've just got 10 days, 10 days until November 5th. But however, this election is happening today. You can early vote today. How many are going out to vote today? How many are early voting? Well, now is the time for us to do what Michiganders do best. We pound the pavement. We talk to our friends and our family, and we do not take a single vote for granted. And we hustle every day. And when we hustle every day, we will elect Kamala Harris as the next President of the United States. You know, I, I know I've known Kamala for a long time. And actually, uh, we worked together. We served together in the United States Senate. Uh, she was actually my seatmate. We sat next to each other, came in as kind of the new kids on the block. And, you know, if you're in the back row, new kids on the block, you got a lot to talk about about everybody else. <laughs> I'll say it was all positive about my Democratic friends. The other ones I don't know about. <laughs> but I can tell you, this is from personal experience, that I know that Kamala is absolutely passionate about public service. She cares about the people, everybody in this country. And let's not forget she is strong. She is determined. She, she is as smart as hell, and she's going to make an incredible president. Her opponent, well, Sounds like you know him like I know him. And, and let's, let's be honest, let's be honest here, all of us here together. We were forced to watch the Donald Trump reality TV act for far too long. The lies, the hate, the bullying, and the chaos, and the failed policies that leave every American behind except the billionaire class. Well, we've seen that movie. We saw the movie before. In fact, as I remember that movie, in 2020, the American people fired him, if I recall. And I don't know about you, but I don't think West Michigan wants to go back. We're not going back. We're not going back. Not going back. Well, I tell you, you know, somehow, somehow Trump is even more dangerous now than he was in his first time around. And, you know, just don't take, take my word for it. I would just say, anybody, if you want to see the real Donald Trump, this is really painful, but just watch his rallies. He, he, he is even more unhinged than he was before. You can see it with your own eyes. But I tell you that we can also just look to some other folks. You know, basically, when you run for president, you're interviewing for a job, the most important job and the most significant job in the world. And if you hire someone for that job, you know, it's good to, to do your work. And when you look for a job, what do you do? You check the references. So I thought maybe let's check some references for Donald Trump just to, to do that, you know. And so I'm going to ask you, after I read this reference, would you hire this guy or, or would you not? Let's, you know, let's just wait and see. So um, people who have actually worked for him, he's handpicked them. They are his closest advisors. This is what they had to say. Let's ask uh, John Kelly, a four-star general and Trump's former chief of staff. Wow, that's a big job. He was really close to the president every day. What did he say? Quote, Donald Trump is a person that has nothing but contempt for our de democratic institutions, our constitution, and the rule of law. But he didn't stop there. He went on to say, the depth of his dishonesty is just astounding to me. He is the most flawed person I have ever met in my life. 
Would you hire that guy? No. Oh, my God. Well, I would not hire him, but let's, you know, maybe there's another reference. So let's talk to his Homeland Security Advisor. He called him, quote, an utter disgrace. His Defense Secretary called him, quote, a threat to democracy. And he also said, quote, he is more dangerous than anyone could imagine. Does that sound like someone that we would want to hire? Well, let's check another reference. The highest ranking military officer, the general that he handpicked to serve as chairman of the Joint Chiefs, called him, quote, a fascist to the core. Does that sound like someone we would hire? No, no that is not what we need in this country. And that's why both Republicans and Democrats are coming together to reject Donald Trump and support Vice President Harris. Just, just this week, my friend and former colleague from West Michigan, a former Republican Congressman, Fred Upton, announced his support for Kamala Harris. So Fred Upton, Fred Upton, so, so let's be clear, Fred's been a Republican all his life. He has never, not even once, never, ever voted for a Democratic presidential candidate. But he understands the threat, and he said, quote, Trump is still talking about the election being stolen, trashing women left and right. He's just totally unhinged. We do not need chaos. We need to move forward. I agree. We need to move forward. And what does that forward look like? What does that look like? We need a president who will put his country before herself every single time, and that is Kamala Harris. We need a president who will spend every single day fighting for the American people, and that is Kamala Harris. We need a president who will stand with unions and understand that unions make the American middle class and its country strong. And that is Kamala Harris. And we need a president that will protect reproductive freedom and make sure that every woman, every woman can make decisions about her body. That is Kamala Harris. So I'll tell you just one more thing, just one more thing. Come, we can't just send Kamala Harris and Tim Walz to the White House. In order to be effective, to get the agenda done that we all want her to do and are working every day to make sure happens, she needs a team. And she needs a majority in the United States Senate in order to do that. And that's why, as we're working to make sure that Kamala is the next president, we have to elect Alyssa Slotkin as the next senator from the great state of Michigan. We are so close, we're only a few days away, but this is now why we have to make sure we get those absentee ballots in. We have to make sure folks are voting early. We need to knock on doors. We need to talk to our friends. We cannot leave anything on the field. The future of this country is in our hands as the whole world is watching what happens in Michigan. And I, I just want to leave, as I walk off the stage, I just want to leave you with this image. If we are out there working every day, if we're putting our heart and soul into this election, on election night when we're sitting there watching the results, and the whole country is going to be watching what's happening in Michigan. But while you're sitting on the couch, just imagine, with all of the work you do, how you're going to feel when it pops up on the television screen that Michigan is blue. We elected Kamala Harris to the vice president and the president. Have a great day.